Evening everyone, it's uh, 5.45 and this is your closing comment for today, Monday, the uh, 12th. And it's video number 1447. It was kind of a strange day. There were kind of a few um, things that I didn't really understand, uh, but I'll get to that in a second. Uh, the talk about the railroad strike by the end of this week was uh, something that I thought might depress the transports, but the transports were actually the biggest winner on the day, up 191.75 or 1.36%. And that was followed by the NASDAQ up 154 or 1.27, so a pretty good day there. It was really the mega caps and uh, the transports, but it was really across the board. We were up as much as about um, three, 395, I think, was the peak, uh, and we closed up 229 or 0.71%. Um, the chart on the screen is the dollar because I think that this was the biggest influence on the market. Um, we have, you know, we've come down from almost 111. And it's not like we've fallen out of bed, but this is a pretty healthy decline from just under 111 to just under 108. So that's about $3. Um, and what we had here, we had a move from uh, 109 and change, I believe it was. Yeah, 109.14, where we came down about the same, about 105.99. So that's about the same $3 and consolidated across before we made one followed by a second new low. So um, we went right through the 20 day. We had closed above it on Friday. Uh, next in line is the 50-day, and that's here at 107 and change. That's about another dollar, 90 cents to a dollar lower. And this area <coughs> in here, 106.80, should be an area of some support, but we'll have to see how it shakes out. The reason that I said that it was the dollar that really uh, ruled today was because with that dollar down, we had crude up, that gas up, but more importantly, the ones that have been acting the poorest are these precious metals. And we had the uh, gold up $12 today, close, you know, pretty close to the high six dollars off the high and eighteen dollars off the low so that's two-thirds up on the range but the big star today was clearly the silver um, 1986 up ten dollars up up uh, one dollar and nine cents which is a pretty substantial move when you see the chart you'll see there aren't a lot of these here uh, there are a lot of those to the downside not to the upside. So uh, I'm assuming we're going to run into some trouble here at uh, $20.50 roughly. We have this falling 100-day moving average uh, coming through at 2062. Uh, we also have the five-day about to go through that 20-day tomorrow back to the upside, which is kind of a turn in trend and we have the MACD doing the same thing. So uh, this was pretty impressive. The other things that were up again today, uh, bonds were exactly unchanged, but uh, the uh, Bitcoin was up another 1100. That's a 400 point or three, uh, 3000 point move in just the last two sessions. So that's pretty extreme also. Um, the grains were, the wheat was down a little, the corn and the soybeans were up. The soybeans were up pretty big, um, 76 cents is a pretty substantial move, 5.38%, looks just like the silver, um, but this is, you know, a consolidation. Uh, I still like the wheat. It was down a little today. I'm not sure the why of it, but it has been so strong that I certainly don't begrudge it um, one day 
where I mean it's still above this little breakout here above 850 even though it was minorly lower today um, on the stock side it was also kind of interesting we had news for Bristol Myers uh, this morning the stock was 7575 up 560 or 8 percent on the FDA approval of uh, one of their new drugs I think it's the plexoriasis or in any event, um, it didn't fare as well for the rest of the day. While it did make a new high at 75.99 in regular hours, it only closed at 72.36. That was up 220 or 3.14, which was substantially less than the 8% it was up this morning. And uh, VTYX, this is another company, also bio. Um, and uh, evidently the Bristol Myers drug is on a platform that VTYX controls. Um, this morning that stock was, uh, it had closed at 23.10. It was trading around 36, up about 13. It actually managed to close at 38.11, up 15.01. So up very substantial move. Um, LNG, which is Chenier Energy. Uh, not earnings or anything, but they did announce a new uh, 4 billion share buyback. They also gave better guidance. The stock had closed 160.73, uh, traded up and the last is 165.70, up 445. So not a bad move, two and three quarters percent. And here's an interesting one, rent, R-E-N-T. This is another one of those, it seemed like a good idea when money didn't cost anything last year when the company uh, did an IPO. This is called um, Rent the Runway, and it is rental of runway quality clothes, primarily for women. The stock traded in November at 24.77, closed the day today at $4.93, up 45 cents, but then reported, um, they actually had a split report. Some of their stuff was positive, and on that, the stock moved from 493 up to 514. Unfortunately, there was also some negative stuff in there on um, individual metrics that took the stock down 16% to $3.76, down 72 cents on the day. So not great. Uh, tomorrow, don't forget, we have uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is CPI. And Wednesday is PPI, so uh, we'll have to see how those shake out, and I'll be back first thing in the morning to let you